Hello everyone, this is Moth, they, them. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to post a lot recently, but I've been extremely busy with my thesis research. I'm a grad student and um, I have recently hit the 60 page mark. I'm still extremely busy with research and with, you know, the actual writing part. And, you know, I spend most of my days working. So after dinner, when I'm free, I don't exactly want to film or do anything. The only thing I want is to crawl into bed. But I'm filming this on a Sunday. I decided to take the day off because I'm, again, extremely tired, extremely stressed. And I figured I could film something for you all. So what this video is going to be is a soft-spoken show and tell of one object that is very dear to me and it's this cassette tape this is one of my favorite albums it's posed by icelandic singer björk and this was given to me by my friend he's had it for months but um he wasn't able to give it to me in person due to necessary covid restrictions because although we live quite close to one another, um, we technically live in two different regions and interregional travel was not allowed um, until recently. So we finally had a chance to meet up and we came out, we watched a couple movies, made lunch and we, um, you know, we just hang out and it was fun and he gave me this because um, he He's a huge collector, he mostly collects video games and video game related things, you know, limited editions, action figures, um, LPs, you know, that, that type of stuff, he's got a huge collection. And so he goes to flea markets a lot and actually buys a lot of things um, on eBay. And he was um, trying to buy some Japanese edition video games, I think. And the seller that he was talking to also had this cassette tape on sale for very cheap. And my friend remembered that I'm a huge, huge fan of Björk. And he got it for me. And I love it. I can't even play this because I do not have a cassette tape player. And I'm not sure that I would be able to work one like... Cassette tapes were still extremely common when I was a kid, but I never really used them because CDs became a thing. But it's still a lovely thing to have, and I've placed it on my nightstand. And I really treasure it. So in this video I'm just going to, you know, ramble, tab, read the contents of like this piece of paper in here. And we're just going to chill. So, Post is one of my favorite albums, as I already mentioned, and it came out in 1995, which is the year I was born. And the aesthetic of this album is just great, and then I love a lot of the songs in it as well. Um, it's one of my favorite Björk albums, although I have to say I think my absolute favorite is Voinikura, the one that came out in 2015 or 14, if I'm not mistaken. That was a great album. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's because Björk, like, she's a great musician already, right? But she also worked with another favorite musician of mine, Arka. And so the album just... Came out great. So, I also like this sticker um, in front, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a Chinese dragon, a yellow Chinese dragon with like a beard or like tiny moustaches and then you have these pink flowers and these two quarts leaves and it just looks really pretty. And I like that, you know, it's just this sticker out here. You know, I don't know if this was included with the cassette tape. I don't know if it was manufactured this way. 
or if the owner of this tape just decided to to stick on because he because they had you know a random sticker lying around who knows let's try to open this okay so i've actually been able to open it without destroying the whole thing i'm i'm surprised honestly okay so we have this paper thing The set eight, like every lot, the aesthetic of these. I always thought they looked very cool, so it's in this direction that I have to put it back in. Just look at that. <laughs> I really do love um, cassette tapes, I think they look great. I don't know if this is just you know, a regular transparent tape but I still think that it looks very cool um, you know I'm, I'm kind of a fan of this retro aesthetic when it comes to technology if you remember those um, like they were Game Boys but they were like transparent so you could see everything that was going on inside that was like peak technology for me peak aesthetic This is side B, and this is side A. It would be great if I knew, you know, how to make this function. But I do not, so... Again, I don't even have a player for this. I don't, I don't think I do, maybe. Something that I could play a cassette shoved in some boxes or whatever. I still don't like this sort of metallic sound that they make. Okay, I'm just going to put this aside for now and I'm going to get this. See how cool this is? I really do like it. inside and of course here we have two holes because um, of these of the way that the plastic thing is made sorry I'm just kind of amazed so and they have some information on who designed the cover I'm just going to read it because why not cover designed by neat company Lotus Flower. Oh, okay, so that's Lotus Flower here on the back, and it's the same one that is on the sticker with the dragon, so cool, that's a Lotus Flower. And it was modelled by Martin Gardner, Gurk's jacket by Hussein Charlion. The photographer was Stefan Sednawi. This is kind of cool. So here we have a list of the sums inside, and I think they're divided into side A and side B. So on side A we have Army of Me, Hyper Ballad, The Modern Things, It's Oh So Quiet, Enjoy, You've Been Flirting Again, and on side B we have Isabel, Possibly Maybe, I Miss You, cover me and headphones and these are all great tracks so um, here you can see the lyrics and i'm going to read them in a bit so like a really cute picture of good here at the bottom and here we also have if i manage to find it again yes a message in Icelandic, which I'm not sure I understand. Hmm. I could try to read it because I've been told by actual Icelanders that my accent is good, but I don't know. 
thessi blatter e tilenkud omnuviu. Tak fau. Tak fau should be thanks to and thessi blatter. I do think it's this tape. So tak fau. Derek, Nettie, Paul, Christina, Gelf, och Aklir, Hjau, Oli. Call Oli here. Och Aklir is and others. Then we have Olivier, Valerie, Sherry, Malcolm, Michelle, Stefan, Jürgen, Mondino, Tak. Tak is thanks again. Aushi, och Magnastina. So she's thanking Asi and Macastina for something, which I don't know what it is. Again, I started studying Icelandic a few years back and I was using to A2 level, but then I just had to stop because I was too busy with uni. So I understand something and I remember a few things, but um, I am definitely not fluent in Icelandic. Host Andrea, Magga, Hubert, Daniel, Hatli, Kelly, Brynhildur, Atlir, Merlinir, Smekleisu, Taktik, Bobli, Tricky, Ren and Stimpy, Fyrir, Inblaustur. Takt Fau, Leila, Guy, Dan, Tansi, Tobin and Ike. Heid Aust, Dilatlar, Fjösklinnar, Minnar. I don't know what that means. Tak fær nætli Orikin set James Bond þú Marius fyrir að skilja betta, þetta með kokósnöfuna Hóði Graham og Marcus Light hjörta lil kefri Ef næstæir stöð ástina fyrir öllum þá sjón Don Rebecca, Rosemary and Frosty Stærstu Sindri and Yoga I think she's just thanking a bunch of people that worked on the album. Honestly, I am not sure. I should put this through Google Translate and maybe understand. Okay, so this was like this. Just trying to remember the way it's positioned. And I think I'm just going to go in reverse order because that seems neater. So. We have the lyrics, and this is Headphones by Björk and Tricky, whoever that is, and the song is To Graham. Genius to fall asleep to your tape last night, so warm. Sounds grow through the muscles, these abstract wordless movements. They start up cells that haven't been touched before. These cells are virgins, waking up slowly. My headphones, they saved my life. Your tape, it locked me to sleep. Nothing will be the same. I'm fast asleep. I like this resonance. It elevates me. I don't recognize myself. This is very interesting. My headphones, they saved my life. Your tape, it led me to sleep. I'm fast asleep now. I'm fast asleep. My headphones, they saved my life. Your tape, it led me to sleep. It's a very sweet song. Um, and I want you to see the way that it is written. Because it's a bit like a poem, right? So you have all these different stanzas and words that have different positions. I think that's just very interesting because they kind of want to transmit to you um, the way that they're sung in the song. So the next is Cover Me and this is by Björk. And you can hear birds chirping because I actually have a swallow nest right um, outside of my window. I, I, I can't do anything about it and even if I could I wouldn't because I like them. They're really cute. So, while I crawl into the unknown, cover me. I'm going hunting for mysteries. Cover me. I'm going to prove the impossible really exists. 
this is really dangerous. Cover me. But worth all the effort. Cover me. I'm going to prove the impossible really exists. Again, a short and sweet song that I really like. Then we have I Miss You by Björk and Howie Bernstein. And this is very good. Um, I miss you, but I haven't met you yet. So special, but it hasn't happened yet. You are gorgeous, but I haven't met you yet. I remember, but it hasn't happened yet. And if you believe in dreams, what is more important than a dream can come true? I will meet you. I was speaking, but it hasn't happened yet. I haven't been given my best souvenir. I missed you, but I haven't met you yet. I know your habits, but I wouldn't recognize you yet. And if you believe in dreams, what is more important that a dream can come true? I will meet you. I'm so impatient. I can't stand the wait. When will I get my cuddle? Who are you? I know by now that she'll arrive by the time I stop waiting. I miss you. This is just very sweet and very, you know, I don't use the word yearning lightly, but there is definitely this yearning that just permeates the song and it's beautiful. And we have, I'm just trying to remember how this was supposed to go. We have Possibly Maybe by Björk. Your foot finds me out, laces the crack in me, teases the crack in me, jeez, I can't read, smittens me with hope. Possibly, maybe, probably love. As much as I definitely enjoy solitude, I wouldn't mind, perhaps, spending little time with you, sometimes, sometimes, possibly, maybe, probably love. Uncertainty excites me, baby. Who knows what's going to happen? A tree or a car crash? Or I'll join, or you'll join a cult. It's very specific, yeah? Probably, maybe, possibly love. Mon petit volcan. So my little Vulcan, like in, not Vulcan, um, Volcano, sorry. Your eruptions and disasters. I keep calm, admiring the lava. I keep calm. Possibly, maybe, probably love. Electric shocks, I love them. With you, then there's an arrow that goes on the right. Doesn't it, eh? And I just, I just think that's really cute, um, you know, the way that she wrote this. But after a while, I wonder, where's that love you promised me? Possibly, maybe, probably love. How can you offer me love like that? My heart's burned. How can you offer me love like that? I'm exhausted. Leave me alone. Possibly, maybe, probably love. Since we broke up, I'm using lipstick again. I'll suck and check my tongue as a remembrance of you. And then we have Isabel. And this was written by Björk, Natalie Hooper, Marius Devry, and Shion. In forest, pitch dark, clove the tiniest spark. It burst into flame like me, like me. My name Isabel, married to myself, my love Isabel, living by herself. In a heart full of dust lives a creature called lust. It surprises and scares like me, like me. My name Isabel, married to myself, my love Isabel, living by herself. When she does it, she means to. Moth delivers her message. Like, that's so cute, right? Moth delivers her message. Thank you. I'm Moth. 
I delivered Björk's messages. An explained new collar, crawling in silence, a simple excuse. In a tower of steel, nature forges a deal to raise wonderful hell like me, like me. My name, Isabel, married to myself, my love, Isabel, living by herself. When she does it, she means to, must deliver a message and explain on your collar, crawling in silence, a simple excuse. Now, obviously, I'm biased towards this song just because it mentions must and um, I'm a must, so. And you have, you've been flirting again. And this is by Björk. All that she said was true. All that she said was true. Give her some time, give her some space. All that she said was true. All that she meant was good. All that she meant was good. Give her some time, give her some space. All that she meant was good. How you reacted was right. How you reacted was right. Give her some time, give her some space. How you reacted was right. And we have Enjoy by Tricky and Björk. I wish I want to stay here. I wish this be enough. I wish I only love you. I wish simplicity. And there is a colon after every I wish. Look at the speed of up there. It magnetized me to it. I have no fear. I'm only to this to enjoy. I wish I'd only look and didn't have to touch. I wished I'd only smelt this and didn't have to taste. How can I ignore this is... Does this get my video demonetized if I say it? Like, blocked somewhere? Not demonetized because I'm not making anything, but... The S word. Just in case. Without touching. I'm going to explore... I'm only into this to enjoy. That's the thing with um, with song lyrics. Um, I get, I hear they get flagged, and just words get flagged, and I don't really understand why. But um, honestly, I don't understand how YouTube functions. But um, you know, I'm just going to play it safe. So it's "Ho So Quiet" by Handslang and Riceville. It's oh so quiet, it's oh so still. You're all alone and so peaceful until... Oh, this is so cute. You fall in love, zing boom. The sky up above, zing boom. It's caving in, well bam. You've never been so nuts about a guy. You want love, you want to cry. You cross your heart and hope to die. Till it's over and then it's nice and quiet. But soon again... Starts another big riot. You blow a fuse, zing boom. The devil cuts loose, zing boom. So what's the use? Well, bam, falling in love. It's so, so quiet. It's so, so still. You're all alone and so peaceful until you ring the bell, bim, bam. You shout and you yell, he, ho, ho. You broke the spell. Jeez, it's a swell. You often have a fit. This guy's gorgeous and I got hit. There's no mistake, this is it. Till it's over and then, it's nice and quiet. But soon again starts another big riot. You blow a fuse, zing boom. The devil cuts loose, zing boom. What's the use? Well, bam, a falling in love. The sky caves in, the devil cuts loose. You blow, 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 blow your fuse when you've fallen in love. Shh. Like, tell me this is not... <laughs> lovely song like these are just the lyrics obviously but honestly if you've never listened to this album you should just type Björk post and listen to it All the Modern Things by Björk and Grand Massey All the modern things like car like cars and such have always existed they've just been waiting in a mountain for the right moment listening to the irritating noises of dinosaurs and people dabbling outside. All the modern things have always existed. They've just been waiting to come out and multiply and take over. It's their turn now. 
like this is such a short song but i love the scene that she explodes with this and it kind of reminds me um you know in an opposite way of a poem that i read by russian poet marina Tsvetaeva, and there was the um poem of the stairs and it's very interesting because in it uh we have the elements so fire and and wood and coal and glass and they start a riot because they feel they have been turned into things and that is not the nature and in a way this is kind of the opposite you have the amount of things that have always existed but just were hidden you know in a mountain they were hidden in the element i think that's a very interesting way to look at it you know then we have Hyper Ballad. We live on a mountain. Right at the top, there is a beautiful view from the top of the mountain. Every morning I walk towards the edge and throw little things off like car pats, bottles and cutlery, or whatever I find lying around. It's become a habit, a way to start the day. I go all, I go through all this before you wake up. So I can feel happier to be safe over here with you. It's real early morning. No one is awake. I'm back at my cliff, still throwing things off. I listen to the sound they make on the way down, follow with my eyes till they crash. Imagine what my body would sound like, slamming against those rocks. When it lands, with my eyes, with closed or open. I go through all this before you wake up. So I can feel happier to be safe up here with you. And here instead we have a rejection of the material, a rejection of the modern, of the objects, in favour of the mountain element. Like, it's really good that these two songs are just opposed, I think. It's very interesting. Then we have the last song, <laughs> well technically the first, but I've been going in reverse order. And it's Army of Me by Björk and again Graham Massey. And this song, I listened to it when I was very young. And the video is just crazy. In general, Björk music videos are extremely creative, extremely aesthetic, but at the same time, extremely disturbing. And in this video, you have a monkey dentist and he's just pulling teeth out of Björk's mouth, but diamonds come out. It's just really weird because it doesn't really make sense with the song. But you know, if you want to watch a really weird Björk video, you have to watch Where is the Line? That one is just super weird. So I'm going to read the lyrics. Stand up, you've got to manage. I won't sympathise anymore. And if you complain once more, you'll miss an army of me. You were right, there's nothing wrong. Self-sufficient, please, and get to work. And if you complain once more, you'll meet an army of me. You are on your own now. We won't save you. Your rescue squad is too exhausted. And if you complain once more, you'll meet an army of me. If I remember correctly, she actually wrote this song for Shion, whoever that is. I'm not really sure. But um, it, it's a really, really catchy song. I really do like it. So this is not how it was. So it was like this. Yes. Because okay. I just, I don't want to mess it up, you know. Oh, I haven't seen this. So this is the um, lotus flower. Look at that. It is so pretty. I just love the color scheme. It's just great. And then we have another page. And these are all the people that have worked on this album. And like you see how tiny the names are and how many there are. I really, really, this was a team effort, and I'm just mesmerized 
by this whole thing. I don't know what this is supposed to be called, but it just looks so very interesting. And again, um, I just love the way the lyrics are printed, like poems. It's so very interesting. Just, what a great album. <laughs> just so glad my friend got this for me. It's definitely something that I'm going to treasure. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I could even try to buy some other um, cassette tapes for myself. It could be, you know, interesting. I know she still makes them. She even made them for that Nikora album that I cited earlier. So this could be interesting. And I think this is going to be all for today. Well, almost all. I think we have to a bit. Just look at that. It is so cute. And say hi to the cat lamp. But yeah, I hope that my rambling was relaxing. Um, you would not believe how hard it is to, um, wait, how do I, oh no, is it my notes? I think so, like this definitely goes here, <laughs> this definitely goes here, but um, no. This was like this. Maybe. No, I think something's not working. Yes, I'm, I'm just trying to make this video a bit longer, clearly. Oh boy. This is going to take me forever, isn't it? Is it like this? I think it wasn't like this. I remember this was um, visible. Okay, let's let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so no. God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> No, it's not like that. What is it? Is it? Look, I'm not even going to cut this moment just because... Why should I? This is free entertainment. Okay, then this went in like this. Almost sure that it did anyway. With this. No, not really. <laughs> Why am I like this? Honestly. Maybe like this? I'm, I'm, I'm truly not understanding here. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Let's try again. So, okay. Then this one like this. This one like this. This one like this. Look, I'm, I'm just going to pretend. Not even pay attention to it. I don't have a brain. Me 
this back in. Then, no. No, 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 no. It's like this. I think I'm doing the same thing that I did just like a few seconds ago. Perfect. Then, I'm just going to put the sizing. Oops. Well, that was hard, <laughs> and I'm still not convinced that I did it right. You think, look at this idiot, but I have to live with myself. <laughs> just get to put it back this way and and just give up, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to give up. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I do think there is something wrong and I will probably, you know, wake up at 3am to find out what? But, you know, it's gonna call it a day. And I think I'm going to conclude the video with some tapping. Alright, so that was just a little bit of tapping. I think I'm going to be filming a whole video of me tapping on this cassette tape. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it relaxing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!